This is a basic version. It doesn't have Wi-Fi and it doesn't have Android. You can connect your device to the projector using these one of these inputs. There's VGA, HDMI, AV, USB, and also a TF or SD card. So right now I have a USB inserted into the projector. Play. This is a Wi-Fi version, just like a basic version. It can be connected to another device using AV cable, HDMI cable. You can also connect your USB to this projector or an F or TF or SD cards. Also, another thing that is available for, for the Wi-Fi version is Wi-Fi display. So if, you, if your phone is an Android phone, you choose Android screen. If your phone is, is an iPhone, then you can choose iOS screen and then connect your phone to the projector wirelessly. Let's try to do it now. My phone is an Android phone, so... And this is an Android version. It has an Android TV OS. Look, we can go into settings and then choose about this device, and here is Android version 7.1.2. Okay, the settings are, you can find all kinds of settings in here. Wi-Fi, Ethernet, etc., Bluetooth. Okay, let's go back one step, back into the home screen. Android version has a Google Play. As you know, you can find all kinds of apps on Google Play. Two apps are here on the home screen, Netflix and YouTube. There's a few more apps already installed on this projector, which is like this one, MX Player Pro, also a calculator is installed, and Google, we even have Google Chrome in here. Okay, so how does it compare with the basic and Wi-Fi versions? This Android version has everything that a basic version has. It also has everything what a, what a Wi-Fi version has. Look, to mirror your phone to the projector, you have to choose mirroring right here, and then if your phone is an Android phone, click <laughs> That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. This was Android version.